What's up boys and welcome back to Danny TV. Today we got the truck and trailer hooked and we're on our way to our cousin shop to pick up the build for the channel. I'm very excited for this one. Stay tuned and let's go. this out guys we're doing something crazy right here we're gonna get the driver to pull front
that oil cooler. buddy do you like the new car check it out what do you think all right boys so we made it back to the house we're actually not gonna unload this right now I gotta go into work so I'll catch you back in a few hours do you like it Bruno do you approve the new build so Bruno here is going to inspect the car, let us know which parts are bad. Get in there, boy. How's that control arm back there? Is that control arm good? I think you're inspecting the wrong side, buddy. Come over here, Bruno. It's on this side. We need you to get under here. Yeah, get under there and kind of look at what's going on. He's saying we got a racing beat exhaust he says it's gonna sound really good he just can't get enough of it huh what are you sniffing under there buddy he likes it uh oh buddy it's on you now keep the car safe and we'll be back in a few hours. Welcome back to the channel. So now that we got the RX-7 in the garage, we're gonna go ahead and start disassembling the front end and checking out the damage.
All right, boys, so before we get started on our suspension and cooling system, it's definitely completely rust-free. And for a 93 from New York, it's in very good shape. Check out the diff stabilizer bar. Thing is nice and straight. Not sure if our drive shaft is upgraded or not. Check out What's this the... fuel pump right here, man. I haven't seen something like that right there set up. But that took a pretty good hit right there. That metal just completely folded and gave in like it should. We got our cooling system off. We've got most of our wiring harness unclipped. A good tip for this is to take a quick video of this before you do take it out so you know how to route all the wires back. So our ABS unit is still good. There's no oil leaks or anything like that. None of our lines were damaged, but check out how bad our firewall is crunched. All the way up to the center here. So we did get in touch with the previous owner. He did tell us a little bit more about the build. And this is a LQ9 V8 Escalade block. And he does have a cam in it, so I'm very excited to get this thing started. But all of our motor mounts and everything are still in place. The only thing damaged on the motor is our old dipstick. 
Must have been hit with the AC compressor, but our frame tower is what took most of the damage. Check out the custom engine mounts. Check out how well taken care of the car was. Coming from New York, I was expecting a little bit of rust, but this car is absolutely rust free. I think we had enough of that on the Jeep. It's pretty clean under here. We do have a little bit of an oil leak. We are possibly gonna be removing the motor and we'll definitely go into spec on the compression and all of that because we are going to be pushing for big numbers on this build. All right, boys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. We made a lot of progress on the car. We got the whole front end disassembled along with the cooling system, and we know now what the car needs. Now it comes down to finding the parts for the RX-7, and this is where we need your help. So if you know of any junkyards or have any leads to any parts, my email is in the description box. Stay tuned for this awesome rebuild. I appreciate all the support. If you are new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. Smash that bell notification so you don't miss out on anything. And I'll catch you very soon.